Hello people, this is VRS here coming to you with some more of the uh, online games and today we are playing Feudalism 2 uh, this is a pretty long game so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start it um, this series is just uh, for you guys just kind of see what these games are about and see if you guys will like them as well so we're gonna try Chinggis Khan of the Black Horde and by Chinggis that's also pronounced Genghis so that's supposed to say Genghis Khan but alright so WASD or arrow keys attack with the space bar nope need to get closer yeah now hold on a minute this is quite a bit loud, so I'm going to turn it down just a little bit for you guys. There we go. Uh, I know how to play, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that. Um, basically, if you want to... Uh, read that, you can. I'm going to take away both of those. Okay, this is the first thing I always do. So, get the short cantana, the shurikens, that, and that. Okay. Now because uh, if you look at our starting location while on an island, a ship's very important, so I recommend using your starting cache to get them. So now we have this, all of this that we can place like so. Um, this is a town controlled by us, so we can recruit troops here, which we will. Um, my only problem with this game is how you have to recruit troops. I wish there was just a way to spam click this thing. And now place those guys. A good idea is to get all of your range guys um, a buffer, which would be these guys, so that they can fire without having to go into melee, because then they go into Taekwon. Um, and fists don't do much damage. So get that first line, get the second line of range. Your reserve troops, how I like to arrange them, is have ranged towards the front and then behind them have melee. Uh, you'll, I'll tell you why whenever we get into a battle here. Um, we can upgrade uh, weapons if you want to there. So we're going to ask for a quest to the city of Omi. Uh, so that's down here. Now we come here. Boom, we got a thousand and one gold. Um, we're going to ask for another quest, Nara. Yes, that would be back to our city. Uh, there we go. If you notice these stars, uh, there's a different star for every rank of the uh, in the country that you have. Like this, this is the third largest city. Or uh, oh, here's a battle. So you see. Everybody's rushing forward to get into range. In this way, your melee guys will come up and uh, attack the enemy while your range guys stay back. And then uh, that was pretty short. That was a pretty short battle. Battles. Here we go. But once one person dies, they're going to spawn in over here. And uh, towards the end, uh, if need be, you guys are going to be backed up against here, and you don't want range guys coming in then there because they'll have no use but like here this is the capital so we'll come here ask for a quest sue alright we can do sue board our ship sail up here go up to sue um, you can buy better things uh, each town has its own um, different level stuff Oh, here we go. Dealing with rogues. They'll pay me 4000 So, we come here. And just like that, we've leveled up. And now we come... Well, on our way back, we got attacked. Oh no, what will we ever do? Yeah, there you go. Uh, so now we come back to Sue. If we can ever get past these... There we go. Ok, 
Okay, now we got 4,000. See a mad wound. Alright, I'll show you what these guys... 5% uh, chance of making the enemy mad. Uh, it's basically where they... I think they turn around and attack their own teammates. I think. Um, we're going to go ahead and quickly swap these out. Um, I do that just because towards the beginning you're going to be a lot of uh, ranged and then towards the end you'll have melee. So being a uh, far east as this one is called you want to get up your dexterity a lot. So I'm going to spend every one in here on dexterity. So now we have 55 dexterity and I'll show you why that's important here in a minute. Um, see like strength extra damage on with melee that's extra damage with ranged that's your hit points and that's your spirit points um, so now we're going to I like to get passive traits just because I don't have to use them so we're gonna go for those that and then a far east arts. okay so now we're in Su, we're going to go down to our capital. And look, you need 100 dexterity for this, for these uh, armor, 90 for that, and 99 for that. Uh, so now I think Izuma, Izumo has one, so no, that's still pretty high up there. Alright, so we're going to have to board the ship. Alright, we leveled up again. Let's go into Sue, leave Sue, go up to Matsuma. Sell all those. Alright. 63. We're close there. Alright, so let's go to our skills. There's our 63 that we need, 65 in total. So we're able to take both of these. Uh, that's a 65. We can go ahead and take that too. Now our inventory, take off that and that. Equip that on that. And now the mask. I can come here and sell those. Ask for a quest. Deliver a picture package to the city of Nara. We can do that. There we go. There's our reward. As you can see, I haven't lost anybody yet. But I'm quickly going to bolster these uh, troops. And you can move up your reserves. You can rearrange what you're doing this way. Uh, Alright. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave the melee guys there for now. Um, just to add more depth. And now we've got to go find the second smallest. See, two stars, second smallest. We're going to try to capture it. Yes. I'm more or less right now button mashing. Um, and that's kind of what combat in this game comes down to. Um, we should level up at least once. There's twice. And there's three times. Are we going to go for four or two? There's four. Five. There's five.
a little bit of a sorry about that guys a little bit of an issue there um, so it looks like we got up to 1440 I didn't get to see but now we have this and they've got even more troops that we can get um, we have so we can masters and just the th instead of just the throwers now and we can go ahead and oh, we don't have enough money for this but uh, we can sell these poisoning and stunning um, let's go ahead and level up here we have a hundred and eighty so what I like to do get this up to a hundred and yes it can go over a hundred um, and then start leveling up constitution so that I can be uh, pretty hands-on and killing people and there we go 60 um, There we go. There we go, and go ahead and do an aura there. Back uh, in our inventory, let's go ahead and take our black spirits, and we're going to go here, upgrade, chance of poisoning, enchant rune. And we'll stop there. It's a plus four now, um, which means that it just does more damage. And now sell that. So we have 9,000. And with that, I plan to once again bolster our ranks here. I say bolster, increase our ranks. That's probably what I should be saying. All right. It's early ish. Uh, Here's health potions. You can use them. They do come in handy. Um, so I'll go ahead and get a couple of those. Um, our skills, all good. Inventory looks good. Let's go and quickly try to take this third smallest city. Uh, I'm just going to let them do it. There we go. So, um,. One thing I need to mention with this is, let me, on this map, as you can see, there's different things. Like, here's the Black Horde, um, here's the Forest Lands, there's the Order of the Holy Cross, the Great Trade Republic, and the Southern Desert. Um, and then you have the Far East Empire, which is us. We actually have a settlement here and here. Um, one in the Hordes Land and one in the South Desert. I don't believe that there's any other ones of ours. No. Um, but if it's inside your empire, your starting empire, then you can. Uh, if it's inside your empire, then you can attack and be safe and walk into another city. But say I was to come down here into the South Desert and take out one and attack one of those cities. Then any other time that I go to their city, uh, once I go inside of it, it'll say, like, oh, look, the motor's here. Uh, you've taken out s so many of our towns. Now it's time for you to pay. And it'll automatically start a battle to take the town. Um, you can't do anything inside that town. When I, and if you lose track of which ones you're at war with, which is what that's called, but uh, then the names down here will be red. So, now in here, Martial Arts Center, but it's not the third smallest. So, there's the fourth smallest, which means the third smallest is up uh, there. There we go. Got all that. Now we can head up here and take Sapporo. Oh, wait, more rogues. There we go. Got all that. We leveled up again. Um, which I'll have to make sure to use. Here we go. Um, Far East weapons, which is like Fida's, uh, Kantana's, and Ninjito. This is increasing my hit chance. So I'm going to go ahead and level that up. It's always nice to be able to hit things. Um, 
get two more in that Aurora. There's the third smallest one. Let's try to capture this town. As you can see, it quickly becomes button mashing, as I said. Uh, still a lot of fun and a lot of strategy put into it. Now, uh, if you guys want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments, and I can start a Let's Play of it, um, which is kind of what I'll continue to do. Ooh, that one's nice. We're going to go ahead and take our... Sh no, because that's just our starting short katana. We're not going to waste that yet. But uh, here we go. We've got white monks now, the high apprentices, instead of just the apprentices. We also have ninjas. I love these ninjas. I'm going to stack out on these. And shuriken masters. Um, I try to get a good mixture, once I get it about this far, get a good mixture of shurikens and ghost bowmen. Because the ghost bowmen are pretty awesome too. So there we go. That, that is uh, Feudalism 2. There's also a beginning Feudalism, and it looks like we've got time. We're going to try it. We're going to go for Omi. Yes. They've got horses. Um, horses are very, very good in combat. I activated the aura, and as you can see, uh, some of the guys have become poisoned. I keep missing, so... Uh, Use some potions, heal me back up. Use some more potions, heal me back up again. Use my aura, try to get them poisoned again. Okay, it looks like they've gotten through all my troops, so only I am left. Which means they are going to focus heavily on me. Um, which also means more than likely, I have lost this. But we will see. Because it doesn't look like they have much left. There we go. Oh! One guy left. Oh my gosh, there we go. Uh, we leveled up quite a lot there. 180, so we're going to go ahead and get this up to 100. Increase our constitution even more. And now that we have that aura, we have a reason to increase our spirit as well. Um, we'll go ahead and get that all the way up. There we go, got that up to 5, which gives the sign. Heals all the East Empire units uh, for the stuff, uh, but they can... But other units suffer damage, um, so the aura only works on friendly units. I don't like to use that one much. Um, and this is Leech Life, another one that I don't like to use any much. All of my units take 20% of their max HP. They lose 20% of that, and I gain uh, five times the skill level percent of his or her max HP every second. Um, 
it's just one that's kind of nice to have in case you get into a bind. Um, we'll continue to upgrade these. And that is going to do it for today, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little village. Um, see, we've got Ronin Riders, which are very good. Um, as you can see, I like to recruit a lot of horses. Um, and there are some horses that uh, I know for, say these guys they've got some the best horses um, honestly some once I get the horses from here I probably won't use horses from anything else and it's this city back here that has them um, it's like death knight or something or black riders one of those two and it's literally almost a one-hit shot on any troop for those guys um, but I can go ahead and buy these and, and oh I don't have enough gold for an eclipse because it costs 10,000 oh I won't need that critical rune or that ghost one or that stun one alright so now let's upgrade uh, oh yeah you can only let's go ahead and refine 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 wolf Refine, Enchant. So it's a plus six now, and it's got even more damage. Um, so go ahead and throw that out. Sell that. Go back into our inventory, replace those. Sell all. We are 300 away, from, uh, like 600 away. So we'll ask for a quest. Ichigo, all right. Oh, battle. Watch how deadly these horses are. Once I get this eclipse, um, I'll go ahead and wrap up the end of the video, I do believe. Um, so again, if you guys want to see this, more of this, let me know in the comments. Um, and I will get right on that. I don't know if it'll be this exact one, because if I remember correctly, it does reset... Um, your game after every time so it wouldn't be this exact one but I can certainly uh, work the way to what we're at right now so now we have enough of that eclipse go to the forge we find oh failure you see uh, you fail on one and it breaks it so now we don't have enough of that so I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please do a like down below let me know if you want to see more of this and we'll continue with these throwback free-to-play games next time. BRS, out.